Good morning and welcome back to the garden. Today is Sunday, October 10th. With all the sweet potatoes that we've been digging, we got quite a bit of soil that's uncovered. We got a storm coming, and with that soil uncovered, it's just gonna make a muddy mess. So we need to go ahead and get some mulch down today. So far, we've had a pretty good sweet potato harvest, and I've had quite a few questions about if I use fertilizer or whatnot. So today is a great day to go over it again. You know, I stumbled upon this no-till, deep mulch, weed-free garden system. Now, I use a lot of grass, I use a lot of hay. Don't get me wrong, if you don't compost hot enough, if you just put fresh hay or grass on the ground, there's probably gonna be some seeds in it. The ground likes to be covered up. Even if I didn't bring seeds in, there's seeds still under the ground. It blows in, birds bring it in. So the whole trick behind this is we gotta keep a layer four inches thick or thicker of mulch on top. The food web breaks down this organic matter very quickly. But right here is a great example of the ground wanting to be covered. Don't know what these are, but overnight they popped up. We uncovered this soil when we removed the sweet potato leaves. But it's pretty easy to get rid of that if you wanted to. But we're going to cover this back up. But even that little bit of mulch right there, see how nice and moist that is? Any seeds that are in there are going to try to germinate. It's going to try to cover that back up. But that's just a light little layer on top. We want to go ahead and get four inches, we want to go ahead and get this deep. I also have something else we're going to add to the soil. While I have enough bare soil and the temperature's right, I'm going to go ahead and add some nematodes. I went ahead and got a pretty decent amount of different kinds of nematodes. The directions are, you keep them refrigerated until you're ready to use them. You want the temperature outside not to be too hot, somewhere around the 80s. Then it said put them in a bucket add water. And I'm letting my nematodes go everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and spread these nematodes around in the bare soil and then we're going to go ahead and cover them with mulch. We should be ready for the storms that are coming. It did say to go ahead and spray down the area a little bit. So we got a lot of bare soil here. I believe this is all you gotta do. Anywhere you got bare soil, get some nematodes down. Then we'll go ahead and cover this with mulch. Now, what I've been calling the deep mulch no-till weed-free garden, I guess is better described as the soil food web. It's the living part of the soil that's made up of insects, earthworms, microscopic organisms, bacteria, and fungus. When that web is in balance, it breaks down the organic material in plant available form. The major groups that make up the food web are bacteria and fungus, protozoa, and nematodes. Here's the deal. Healthy soil will provide the plants with all the nutrients they need. There are other benefits to having a healthy food web. They protect against pests and disease. And kind of think of a healthy food web as nature's operating system, which provides plants with access to constant supply of nutrients from soil organic matter and soil particulates. Yes, believe it or not, that life will take and pull nutrients out of the sand, out of the clay, and out of the silt. All contain nutrients that the plants need. The more your food web is in balance, the more nutrients will be available for your plants. And in turn, those plants will produce nutrient-dense fruits and vegetables. Have you ever looked at a forest and realized it doesn't need any fertilizer or tending? And then just kind of come in here and level it out a little bit. As we continue to harvest, we'll continue to lay in deep mulch. That's all I do. That's really all I do. You can do this too. I hope this has been helpful. And remember, until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family. God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.